Okay. All right, Susie, thank you very much for the session today. Um, I know we did a little bit of kind of a summary session, so we just touched on all the different elements of the game, um, starting with our driver here. So um, I'll start with that here as well. I think um, what I would stress to you about the driver that we kind of worked through today was that the, the most important thing with the driver generally is the direction that the face is pointed, by which I mean the face of the golf club will make impact. Because there's so little loft on the golf club, right, 10 degrees or something like that, it's very, very sensitive to the direction of the shot. So with our pitching wedge or our lob wedge or something, with much more loft on the ball, where the face is pointed has less influence on where the ball goes. It's less important. It's really important with our driver to make sure we get that face pointed the direction we want. So um, early on, you hit some pretty good shots that were ending up a little bit to the right. And I know that frustrated you a bit. Um, and that makes sense. No one likes hitting drivers to the right. Um, but the places where those balls ended up depended the most on where that face was pointed a little bit as we went. So if you'll remember, we put that alignment right out in front of you. Started saying, hey, can you, can you point that face of the golf club left of this alignment rod to create, help you get control of that directionality? And you got it right away, right? So when we get on the golf course and we start hitting shots that feel a little wayward, I just want you to know the easiest way to control that with your driver is by pointing the face of the golf club more in the place that you're trying to send it to go. That's the only thing I would worry about. Now the other thing that influences radically is where did we hit it on the face, right? We definitely were hitting some on the toe, some on the heel, some in the center, right? And that is twofold. That's about practice and it's typically about balance. Balance is the other thing. So for you, there are definitely more times when you were hitting it off the heel, when you were kind of losing your balance and throwing yourself forward, trying to get that, um, that ball to go where you wanted to go. But that was helping you create too many shots that were going a little bit off the heel there. So, um, if you start going wayward with the driver, I would check your balance first, and then second, um, make sure that you are getting the face pointed in the direction that you're trying to go. All right, um, we'll go to the second thing. We'll go to the chipping green. Let me grab my drive. All right. Okay, so let's run through the couple keys that were really important for you for the wedges. Um, that setup, I think, is really important. If you can be super disciplined about it, that'll really help you be consistent. So. A little bit of extra pressure on your lead leg, ball right in the middle thereabouts, but that left hand sitting on your left thigh here. That really allows you to set up for a nice downward blow, help you get down to the, the roots of the grass, right? So that we're not hitting those thin ones. And it allows you the opportunity to not have to use those hands quite as much. Your tendency was always to get really fast and hitty with that hand, right? Just created lots of inconsistency, right? Hit a lot of thin shots that way doing that. And that's the reason why, as you can see, if you kind of throw this right hand this way, this part, this leading edge is the part that's always leading into the ball, right? We don't want to feel that way. We want to feel like the bottom, that club is continuing to get down to help get the middle of the face onto the golf ball and center where we want to go. Um, and the other thing for you is just continue swinging smoothly, right? The word I always use is syrupy, right? If we use our good syrupy tempo here, swing on through, we created some good outcomes that way. Um, so keep that tempo going and keep going through that shot until this club gets nicely on our left, um, left hip here. Okay. All right, and then the, the last thing was the putting that we touched on. Um, and you exhibited some habits with your putter that we had in our chipping, right? Your tendency was to use your right hand to kind of hit that putt. We really want to get away from that, right? Putts, we don't need to hit them hard at all, right? The most important thing is to get the distance correct. So it's not about applying power necessarily. It's about getting the, the correct sort of um, speed on the putter and to get the ball rolling. So really, I, I talked about that grandfather clock feel, right? Allowing that putter to kind of swing back and through this way. Certainly, it's not exactly like that, but feeling a little bit more like that will be helpful for you, who has a little bit too much stop and hit to you with that stroke right now, right? So feeling just maybe some putts of the left hand only, feeling that putter swing back and through. And then all we need to do is figure out how far back do I need to swing back and through to get it the right distance. Um, yeah, any questions? Fabulous. Of course. And I will send that to you tonight. Sorry again about Thank that. So, my pleasure.